Thanks very much. Well. It's 20 minutes past six. One in five black children feel that their skin colour would negatively affect their job prospects. That's more than any other ethnic group. This is according to a survey carried out for CBBC's Newsround. Around 1,600 children were asked about their aspirations. The survey found that black children were the most confident that they could achieve what they wanted. But they were less likely to feel that their teachers would describe them as clever. We've still got so far to go. I want people to be sitting at home watching television and seeing, I want them to see balance. I think it's very important to look at the United Kingdom as multicultural and to make sure that across all forms of media that we're all represented. It just breaks my heart that there's people out there feeling that they can't do certain things and we're in 2014. Okay, let's talk to Newsround reporter Aisha Tal. Lovely to have you with us Hi, on the set. Hello. Um, so, CBBC has done this survey. Um, is this about the opportunities that are available to children or is this about children in certain ethnic groups who don't have role models or don't believe that their aspirations are viable? Well, it's a little bit of both. So the survey that we've done looks at a thousand children from different backgrounds age 8 to 14 um, and the recent statistics for black children have actually said that the gap is closing, that they are improving, but they're still the lowest in terms of achievement. And so that's why we decided to look into the survey and ask children themselves, so go out to schools and ask children themselves about how they feel about the job prospects that they can get in the future. There are some curious results in a way, aren't there? There was the one result, that one finding about aspiration, that they think they, this, this group can do whatever they want to do, but they also think that their teachers, for example, are not, are not on the same wavelength. Is that, that, that the right way of describing it? That is the right way. It's, it's, it's very... It's, it was, that was a strange finding for us. So we thought that they, they felt they were the most ambitious, but there's a little bit of a gap between what they thought that their teachers felt. And when I went to a school, I spoke to one um, child, and she said that she was worried that her teachers didn't think that she was very clever. And actually, she thought that they didn't praise her as much as they did other children. And that was something that was reflected in the findings that we saw in our survey. Um, there's, um, we also saw Alicia Dixon talking there. Um, there's a problem with role models as well, and I think this can be applied for any child, but particularly finding um, role models that they can connect to or, or see some similarity to or, or be a realistic role model. And what did you find? That was something that we did find in our survey, particularly black children in our survey said that they felt that they didn't identify with role models um, in other fields. So they were more likely to admire sort of rappers or footballers, but were less likely to be able to give me any other um, details of people that they admired. So it was something that we found. So we went to speak to um, Oscar winning director Steve McQueen and also Alicia Dixon you saw there and space scientist Maggie Adir and Pocock and this will be going out in the week on CBBC and we're just going to be talking to them about the changes that they want to see for black children and children from other backgrounds. Um, in the future. Interesting research, Aisha. Thanks very much. Now, in my hand, Aisha, you will recognise this. I do, indeed. I, do you know what? I should have bought my one, because then, you know, we could have matched. It's got blue in it. Has it? This is something of a phenomena. There, know, these are loom bands. I don't know if we can see these. these. Here we go. These are loom bands, and I've been kindly given this by someone in our studio. And um, these, many parents will recognise. Lots of houses at the moment, aren't they? For, and um, children pretty much being pretty obsessed about this. We're, they're loom bands, that's what they're called. Yes, uh, we're looking at the phenomena at the moment because they are everywhere. It's probably not the first time uh, bands have become very popular. We used to do it? them it's with just... cotton when we were children. That's right, mm. absolutely right. So we're looking at that a little later on this morning. John McGuire getting a masterclass.